Hi, I'm Mari Silby with Light Reading, and I'm here with Greg Fisher, CTO of Hytron Technologies at Light Reading's Cable Next Gen Technologies Conference. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And one of the big topics here uh, this year is going to be DOCSIS 3.1 mm -hmm. and how that's rolling out. What can you tell us about the progress that Hytron has made in terms of developing DOCSIS 3.1 products? So we uh, initially got certified. We were the first Intel cable modem certified for DOCSIS 3.1. And then we had a customer that started to deploy at the end of 2016. So we've got about 120,000 units in the field right now, and that's continuing to grow. And we're expecting to launch maybe six or seven more operators this year in North America. So you're really seeing momentum pick up in 2017. We are, yeah. It's been an interesting growth story, you know, just because people are trying to improve the network and then, you know, get more bandwidth out there. So uh, driving the need for the, the product. And what's that going to look like on the consumer side? Are we going to see more modems or are we going to see more combined gateways in terms of DOCSIS 3.1 CPE rollouts? Yeah, we certainly see the gateway being the trend. You know, people are very bought into Wi-Fi at this point. It's the big driver for a lot of people's uh, next generation technology along with the DOCSIS 3.1. So, you know, Mocha with Wi-Fi and then creating with Wi-Fi extenders kind of this whole home um, seamless Wi-Fi network for customers really seems to be the driver and the gateway is a, a big part of that. Uh, so that, that seems to suggest then that, that maybe we've handled the, the bottleneck, which might have been the home network in terms of a, a Wi-Fi perspective. But how do you see Wi-Fi evolving and also Mocha evolving in terms of home networking in the home to support these applications that are going to be running over high capacity DOCSIS 3.1 networks? Yeah, for sure. I mean, Wi-Fi technology is constantly evolving and a big part of the gateway has been trying to keep up with that. So we've got 11AX coming out later this year. We've got 11AC right now, either 4x4 or 8x8, 11AC paired with the DOCSIS 3.1 gateways. So, you know, we're really seeing, you know, between the Mocha, the Ethernet, the Wi-Fi, being able to cover a home with, you know, one, two, three gigabits per second of service and be able to handle, you know, these 40, 50 devices that people sometimes have in the home now, you know, between all the iPads and iPhones and Android devices that are out there. So it's it's really kind of been a, a game of trying to keep up with that. But I think right now with 3.1 and some of the 11AC technologies and certainly with 11AX, we'll start to get ahead of that and hopefully provide, you know, really the experience that everybody's been looking for. Certainly anyone with kids know how many devices are rapidly getting connected to that home Wi-Fi network. Exactly. Two or three for every kid, it seems. <laughs> remarkable. Um, so we're still at the early stages in terms of deployment for DOCSIS 3.1, but what do you think is the lifespan for this DOCSIS technology? There's there's always a discussion of, hey, is this the last mm -hmm. DOCSIS standard? But even from the perspective of DOCSIS 3.1 itself, how, how much of a, a lifespan do you see there? And what do you see as being Hytron's role in, in delivering its value? Yeah, you know, I think our operator customers are certainly trying to continue to drive value out of their networks. And 3.1 really gives them a way to do that without major new investment. Uh, you know, full duplex DOCSIS is coming along. You know, a lot of people are investing in fiber, but Hytron is going to try to stay relevant by, you know, providing these gateways and these technologies. We're going to be getting into fiber uh, next year and, you know, just really trying to provide the operator with that seamless technology, the Wi-Fi, the Mocha, you know, the software that we provide to our customers and, you know, try to drive that no matter what the, the access technology is. But we really feel that DOCSIS, especially DOCSIS 3.1, has a, a long lifetime ahead of it. So it looks like we've got a lot to look forward to, but a, a lot of that will be DOCSIS, at least in the in the near to medium term. We certainly certainly believe so, yes. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, and have a great rest of your time here at Cable Next Gen. Great, thank you.